You are checking out the Lord Sears special. The Lord Sears special with special guests. He's back. He back to attack and talk his shit. The the legendary, the the the, the, the real nigga in the streets. The 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 gang affiliated thug mm-hmm. nigga himself. Snoop Dogg. Uh, yes sir. Say yes sir. Double G. Uh, yes sir. What it do now for you? And now why why is the Snoop Double G? And the dog. I never want to ask you that. Uh, because uh, I don't do it like the regular dog. Okay. I do a doggy style, so you got to put two G's in it so you can see what I'm saying. God damn. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, before we, we talk about the play, let's talk about real quick the Joker's Wild. Mm-hmm. Now, who came up with the... It's a classic show. Right. And he needed a host. Mm-hmm. Who called you out and said, Snoop? We need some. We need a host. We need somebody different. We need somebody for for now. What happened was I was watching um the game shows like Family Feud and uh, Twenty Five Thousand Dollar Pyramid with Michael uh, Strahan mm-hmm. and watching the uh the, the 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 game show industry like kind of like craving for some coolness. You understand what I'm saying? So I said, let me put a research team on some games that I liked as a kid growing up that were no longer around and see if we could bring it back to life but put a twist on it and have some ownership in making it, you know, my game and their game but with the new twist. So mm. when we found the game, which was Joker's Wild, I always loved that game. The twist was we have to put my spin on it so we went with Snoop Dogg's Joker's Wild. Mm. So that's why a lot of the categories and a lot of the characters and the emojis look sort of kind of like me or in my vein. So it's something that I wanted to do that was missing because I like doing things that are missing. Okay. It was missing from my catalog and it was missing from TV to have a host that could host a show that was fly, that was relevant, and that was hip hop. It seemed like the, like, 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 like you in your house, you got the robe on, you got the drink, <laughs> and you got the cool, and it's like you're in Snoop House. Right. And, 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 and it's comfortable. It's a little page I borrowed from Hugh Hefner, rest in peace. Okay. The big boss with the sauce. Yeah. You know, one thing yeah. about him, if you ever been to the Playboy Mansion, he would walk around and he would be, you know, dressed to a T, spooned and groomed, dipped and whipped, suited and booted. But he would entertain you and you would have a great time being there. And it just was like the same spirit I was looking for when I did Jokers. Well, I wanted that same spirit of welcome into my world. And you can possibly leave with some money if you do everything the way you're supposed to do it. Speaking about getting that money, you got a play. Mm-hmm. Now, this is like re- Redemption of a D-O-double-G. Yes, sir. What's that about? This is, and, and you, you act, you're an actor. Yes, I am. Now, this is different because you're live. Mm-hmm. You speaking to the people. Right. It's not like, Mom, I want to sing. Is there going to be a big black lady in there? Like, Snoop, <laughs> don't please. You got to pay the rent. Somebody All got... my life I had to fight. <laughs> You know? Nah, it ain't gonna be like that. <laughs> All right, this man. play is based on you know my life. It's a story oh, of a uh, of a of a musician who is become successful, and he has to fight for his life, for his God, for his legacy, for his wife, and he has wow. to figure out what is the most important thing that he's fighting for, and he's judged and he's tested and he's put through trials and tribulations that force him to make the ultimate decision on what he wants in life and. This is a story that we all go through every day as rappers, as artists, as people just in general who are in relationships, relationships who become successful, Mm -hmm. but no one has ever told the story from the inside, from the husband's perspective or from the wife's perspective. So you get a little bit of both and you see the story told and unfold on stage. Now, who do you have in the play with you? Right now, I can name a few, just to name a few. Okay. We'll say Omar Gooden. We got oh. him in there. We got uh, Tamar Braxton. Oh, yeah. She cut her hair, too. Yeah, she look good like she that, huh? Yes, it damn. You like that Wakanda, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga went Wakanda, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I seen you. <laughs> I was like, think with a bald head. I said, damn. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And and how did you get her to play? Well, that man sitting over there, Jacarius Johnson. He's oh. The, the, okay, the, the yeah. writer, director, coordinator, author, screen producer. Mm, okay. He's got connections. Yeah, yeah. It looked, it looked like he he acting in the play like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Don't you go in that hallway. <laughs> hey, he 
that? And then it's like, act one. And then you come back. Everybody go eat popcorn. Act two. And then you come back. And you know what I love? I love about niggas when niggas don't know nothing. They just be just having the wildest imagination. Niggas just think the play going to be like, this is straight. <laughs> Straight roots and shit. <laughs> I'm just ain't gonna ever leave here ever again. <laughs> <laughs> no, this shit gonna be fly though. Real talk, okay, it's gonna be fly. It's gonna be real creative. If you know me and you know Jacaris Johnson, you know that mm. we both are very creative. We both are passionate about what we do, and you know, anytime we bring something to the to the stage, we usually bring our best. So we taking our time making sure that it's thoroughly scripted out. We have great mm. actors. Great story and you know entertainment for you to see when it comes to a hood near you. Now be nationwide. How many cities and towns? Oh, uh, we hit in the city and uh, every other city. So I'd say probably about twenty five cities somewhere around there. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com right now and stop playing around before your auntie and your grandma buy them all up. <laughs> you know what? Let's play some. Let's play a classic and come right back. Bang so you can that. talk to the people. Come eight on. eight eight, shade forty five. Snoop Dogg in the house. Get into a classic. I like that number. Eight eight eight. <laughs> <laughs> eight eight eight. Shade four five in this bitch, man. Let's go. See a special forty five. Snoop, Snoop Double O G. Yeah, man. Hanging out with the Almighty Lord said live on the Lord said special, man. Mm, man. Lord have mercy. Now, now we got to now before we get back and talk about the play and the play and acting and stuff. When you shot this video. You have to tell me how much fun that had to be. You dressed up, <laughs> you put the pimp gear on, you went into a, 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 another side of Snoop Dogg. Right. Shout out to Ricky Harris, rest in peace, who wrote the rest video in treatment. Peace. Yeah. He the one who wrote the treatment, and um, we always grew up loving the um, the black actors from the seventies, yes. and we always was like, if we could, we would wanna. We and then we wrote the treatment, and we reached out to everybody, and once we did. We had Ron O'Neill, we had Pam Greer, Antonio yeah. Fargus, we had um, Rudy Ray Moore, we yeah. had uh, Fred Williamson. I mean, it was everybody that you can imagine that was a star in the 70s. That was black exploitation. You had Fred Barry, you had Rerun. Yeah, Rerun. That's my, Rerun was my dog, rest in peace. Yeah. But <clears throat> when we got to the shoot, I had my outfit, but I didn't have no shoes. What? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't have no shoes, because my shoes didn't look right with what I had on. Oh, so then Rudy Ray Moore, Dolomite, he pulled me to the side, he say, I got some shoes for you to wear. And he gave me some shoes with a heel that was about seven inches tall. How the hell? And the motherfuckers was wooden. <laughs> and they <laughs> <laughs> When I st stood in the motherfuckers, I was like a giraffe, niggas just tall as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so the, ready to talk, them mama. the shoes I had to rock for the video, nigga. So if you see me on stage when you watch the video, my movements is like I'm on roller skates because them big ass heels I had on. Oh God damn! Dolomite, rest in peace, though. He was nice enough to let me use his shoes. Yes, indeed. The motherfuckers was called platforms. He's wearing more Soul Train. Exactly, nigga. I had on some of those. Nigga, feet was hurt. My the bottom, of my feet was like is at the, at the <laughs> balled up like Black Power at the, at the tips. <laughs> I fought. I fought for nine hours with them motherfuckers on. And niggas used to run from the police and them shit. I'm saying. Day. Niggas hitting gates and everything. And then <laughs> had on some tight pants with no drawers on. No, no. Or onesie. <laughs> that you zip up in the middle. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> it's good for fucking. <laughs> True indeed. That's easy. <laughs> or zip. Oh, I'll be back. I'll holla at you. <laughs> That is, I may have to make some of those, man. You're some new ones. You're not gonna wear no onesies in the play, though. That's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> hope not, man. No, not like you know. Act two, and then you come back with a onesie. No, Snoop. No, no, man. no onesies in the play. It, um, the difference between the acting and the play because the play is live, right? And you have to know all your. Your your um the script and everything. All oh, your dialogue. That's crazy, man. That's... Well, it's just like it's just like a movie too. You know, I've been in movies and TV shows. It's the same thing. You have to know your lines and know your you know your get down. But to me, I think it's more about the chemistry of of the actors. You know, once you have a mm -hmm. chemistry of whoever I'm acting with on stage, and our chemistry becomes it's not acting. It's just chemistry now, and it's okay. not about. Remembering my lines is about remembering my body language and remembering her body language and proceeding to bring the story to life the best way possible. There's gonna be people that's gonna be emotional. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. It's gonna wow. take you up and down because that's what my life has been. It, yeah, yeah, you know, you get a, you get a chance to see some of it through what I'm doing and what I've been doing, but you've never seen it like this before. You get a chance to go into the intricacies of seeing the relationship of me and my wife and the backbone and the, wow. the struggles that she has and the struggles that I have as far as like holding on to this relationship through the success and what do you really want? Is this is what you, is this what you really after? Yeah. You know, so it's one of those stories and the depth of it, it gets real in depth. So it's like it's something that you should definitely want to come see and enjoy mm -hmm. yourself. It's not the basic Snoop Dogg show. It's not what you've ever seen before for me. I've never done anything close to this. Snoop can you light it up on stage? I thought you said, can I light up right now? I was like, well, nigga, since you asked. <laughs> so, ha, ha, uh, well, since hey, you asked. And you had the pen. Uh, oh, well, that ain't mean, no pen, nigga. If you had a, a pen. motherfucking thing. Well, let's talk about Snoop dispensaries. No, let's go back to what we were just talking about, nigga. Can oh. I blaze up or not? Oh, man, well. All right, I can't. I see. You didn't take too long to answer this shit. Yeah, I'm just going to let you see it then, nigga. Just look at it. Hey, yo, God. It's Not honey too, honey dipped. Wait a minute, is that the snoo <laughs> snoo? Honey dip we? Yes, sir. <clears throat> it's the honey of an O. <laughs> oh, God, Can you take it with tea? Yes, sir. Damn, man. Just like that. They need Snoop Dogg weed tea. I believe that could happen. <laughs> Should happen. Hey, eight 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 shape forty five. We got. One or two calls, they want to speak to. Some people want to talk? Yeah, Snoop Dogg. Talk to me. Let's get this one here. Old talk to me. Snoop Dogg is in the house. Hello, who's this? This me? The fuck is me, <laughs> nigga? Who the hell this is me? Is me? fuck is me? Who the fuck is you, nigga? I just want to know why Snoop stopped making his youth football league show. Oh, man. Um, well, what happened was I stopped coaching, and those kids that I was coaching went on to high school they're actually in high school playing varsity right now. But I still have my football league. Um, I just don't coach anymore because I was getting too attached to one team as opposed to coaching for my whole league. All right. I got halfway through the season, then it was gone. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to try to bring it back for you, man. Thanks for your support. I appreciate that. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We got uh, Jessica online, too. She want to make a request. What's up, Jessica? Hey. Hey. Hi. Okay. What's happening? Say what? What's happening? You called the radio station. You're supposed to be a little bit more excited. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? All right, all right, goddamn. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Um, I want you to uh, play Sensual Seduction. What you mean that song that go, um, she Did might be with him, but she's thinking uh -huh. about me. That song? Yep. You like that? Yeah. Oh, you mm -hmm. want to hear a sexual love rap? <laughs> yeah. What you mean, nah? Where you at? You in the bathroom or you in your bedroom? My bedroom. Okay. Well, you I here. love it. You <laughs> I'm with your, you. You living your best life. Right. Now, talk to me about that and talk to me about hooking up with the comedian. Lil Duval. This particular record, he sent it to me. And I said, nephew, this is a motherfucking hit. I said, if I don't get on it, it's a hit. I said, but if I get on it, it's going to really be a hit because people are going to pay attention and then you're going to get all the attention. Mm -hmm. And then he, we put it out. He was like, all right, we, when we going to do it? We shot the video. And now I see this nigga doing radio tours and <laughs> nigga got a manager and agents and shit now. What? I said, nigga balling now. He popping. I'm, I'm happy for him. Like, this is what I wanted. Like, this is what I seen. I seen it when he sent me the record. So, you know, that's what it's all about. Like, being able to bless somebody with your presence and letting them spin off and do their own thing. So that's his record. I'm just on the record, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which keeps me relevant because I'm on a hot record again. You, you've you been doing My this consecutively God. for a long time. How do you do it and how do you keep progressing? I stay connected with the, with the youth. I stay connected with the people. Um, mm -hmm. I don't ever try to play my age. I play who I am. Mm -hmm. I don't ever want to be some old disgruntled rapper. I want to be Uncle Snoop. That's cool. Yeah, Come yeah. hang out with me. You got a verse for, you, for me to get down. I get down with you. Whatever you need, we cool with each other. It's not like, uh, why y'all having all that money? Why y'all successful? Why y'all? Nah, I'm happy for y'all. Get it. I had it before. I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Do you enjoy mumble rap? <laughs> <laughs> Some of that shit is dope, though. <laughs> I can't even front. In the beginning, I used to be like, that shit is garbage. Mm -hmm. But now some of that shit is dope, like, 
they starting to get more clear with their words and they starting to make a little bit more sense and they know people on them. Mm-hmm. You know, when you know you're being watched and you got to get a little bit better and, and and make your thing dope, dope. But I always thought that the Migos was dope yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. And it's good to see that they finally got they notoriety. They just make, do. Yeah, yeah, making dope shit. And now everybody biting they style, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Which that lets you know when you made it, when another motherfucker's imitating you. Imitation is the, the best form flattery. of flattery, right? There you go. Say that then. Now, Snoop, because they... They over here trying to rush you out. Who rushing? They do. They give me that. That. Uh, yeah. No, I didn't no, give it to you. I know. They. They. You know. Some, I didn't give you the wind up. Like, so like, unwind it. Okay. And anyway, we're back. <laughs> and before I play this joint, man, the gospel album is tough. The musicians. You like that? It's incredible because you had. I like the Rans out the joint. Man. Oh wow, Rans went in. That man. Mm. When I can't get nothing in life, when the bitch don't want fuck. Um, fucked up, and I ain't got no money to buy some liquor. I'm throwing on the Snoop Dogg Rans Allen. and Rance Allen. Bless me again. Bless me again. <laughs> you cold blooded for that. You I, found I, God through all of that I, shit. I, you I, found him. I, I said, it shit. don't matter how you find God, as long as you find him, and I, you find him on your own time. You I, found him. I found God and uh, try to get an icy. And they had no more <laughs> icies left for the kids. God said there ain't no more icies, but enjoy your life. Yes, live it. Stupid. Yeah, man. Um, the podcast. Why? You still doing that? GGN. It's about to be a movie. Netflix Ooh. picked it up. It's about to be a movie. GGN the movie. Yes, sir. Damn. Come on, man. I'm trying to get mine. Snoop, come on, man. I'm, in, I'm entertaining, man. There's a Snoop Dogg album. A new one. Uh, mm-hmm. nah, nah. Okay. Nah, I ain't, I ain't been working on no music. I've been, no, I'm lying. I did the soundtrack for Meet the Blacks Part 2. They know another one? Yeah, it's called The House Next Door with Cat Williams and Mike Epps and Lil Duval and Michael Blackson and it's funny as fuck. Michael Blackson in real life is black. He is black, I know he was that black. That when he came is, in here. He, how black is he? He opened his eyes and I knew it was him. <laughs> I said, who is this nigga? And the lights were on. <laughs> All right, God damn it. Don't uh, well, Michael Blackson, but to get a name like Blackson, you have to be black. Very yeah, black. you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be black. Like back, like black, like the back of Whoopi Goldberg's neck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate your skin color. Eight 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 one five. The play when the play comes out, brother. October fifth. Houston, Texas is when we debut on it. You can get your tickets right now at Ticketmaster.com because we are coming to a hood near you. Redemption of a dog starring Snoop Dogg, Tamar Braxton, Omar Gooden, and a host of others. You dig? Let's do it. Shade 4-5. The Lord says special is Snoop Doggy Dog. Say that, sir. And we go.